Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from Jacksonville. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. On first and ten, it's ETN. And an early how do you do right there as they're going to bury him in the backfield. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. They went with the run pass option, and I don't know if the option really mattered there because the defense was ready. So many times you put the defense at a disadvantage because you have those multiple options, but when they read their keys and play it correctly, sometimes the result goes in their favor. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Here's Lawrence. He'll find ETN out of the backfield. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. So it's a gain of 12 there on the reception. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Got it. Straight ahead, ETN. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. ETN once more. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. Throwing on second and eight. Lawrence. Lawrence hitting the ball is free. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they were, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, you got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. He'll swing this out to Dobbins. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. So that, that was a very nice play, Charles, from a very speedy cornerback. To throw again on second down. Jackson. That's taken in by Duvernay. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A well-executed 22-yard gain. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Now it's Jackson. This is caught. That'll bring out second and goal after the gain of five. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Second down and goal. Jackson. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Ravens take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. And the QB rating right now is sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> I think 158.3 is the number one. Yep, that, that's the, right, that's the highest you can get. That's where he is. He'd like to continue on that pace. So they went for two and failed. They didn't use him on the PAT, but now he boots this one away with a 6-0 lead. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Here we go. 
Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Charles, you've got to think the number one goal here is ball security. Remember last drive, they coughed it up. Then they allowed the touchdown, and now they're trailing on the scoreboard. Boy, the way you described it makes me think that that one actually hurt them three times. The fumble cost them potential points. Then they watched their opponent get a touchdown off of the fumble. And third, they lost the lead as a result. Really tough sequence right there. I don't think coaches have to remind them to hold on to the football. They've just got to find a way to get it done. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Lawrence will throw. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Lawrence on third down. And completes it to Kirk over the middle. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Going for it, here's ETN. And this will be a Jaguars first down as he's able to take this up to the 30-yard line. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Now Lawrence. That would complete downfield to Kirk. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 6-0 our score after one. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Now Lawrence. And that's complete ETN out of the backfield. And the tackle gonna be made at the 38. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Now Lawrence to throw. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. We always hear from coaches how much they like to run crossing routes because they want to hit their receivers on the go, get them the ball, and keep them moving. How about when you hit a tight end that way? Okay, the receivers are gonna run past you most of the time. The tight end, they could do their damage a different way, break a few tackles and really scatter some people, can't they? Here's second and a yard. Running out of the gun with ETN. And he'll go down here right around the 23 yard line. Another tote for ETN. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. From the shotgun, Lawrence. And Jones has it over the middle. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. On third down, here's ETN. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Off 
the play fake. Here's Lawrence on the move to his left. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Trevor Lawrence, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Jaguars are an extra point away from taking the lead. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And they take the lead here at 7-6. Touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. He'll get to sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive to last into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. To throw is Jackson. Yet again, targeting and fighting Mark Andrews. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Jackson to Andrews on that one. First down, Baltimore. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Well, that's complete to the fullback, Ricard. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. It's pretty easy to overlook the fullback when you're making your assignments defensively in the pass coverage game, but in this case, they made him pay for that oversight and picks up a nice gain. Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, here's Jackson. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds, so a big call there that brings him fourth. Fourth down, here's Jackson. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and 10. Here's Jackson to throw. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. And Jackson throwing once more. That's for Bateman and it's intercepted. And the Jags are in great shape here as they take over the 46-yard line. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Final play of the half is Lawrence. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. A final shot before break. Lawrence, he's going to throw one up for the end zone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. 
first half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. They're looking for Andrews, but this is intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And he will take this one home. 